masterclass bake rigging with the professor Carson Hall. He's the tackle expert at JM, but today we're over here at All In Sport Fishing, the HQ of All In Sport Fishing. Carson's a valuable member of their team. You got Orange Beach Marina in the background, and we're going to do a J Hook Ballyhoo. Look, this is just old school. Like, if you like to go out, put out a spread of baits, drink a couple cold Coors Lights, this is your setup. And look, like not everybody, we don't all have to get super serious with the pitch baiting and all that. Sometimes it's got fun to go out, put a set of this out, catch some fish and have a great time. Carson's gonna show us a quick way to rig them. All right, um, first thing I do is come in here and nip the, uh, the bill down a little bit and take off the pectoral fins. All right, and these values have already been pooped. And then um, I've got, a, this is a 10 all paw needle eye hook. I like needle eyes in my valley hoos. Cause Especially because there's not a big bulky right, thing it, in it the gills. In, it tucks in real well. Um, so I take a piece of copper wire and uh, tuck it in back here. So this piece of chafe too is pretty tight in this one. So I'm kind of pretty tight to slide it in. Okay. This one's not going in, so we're going to loop it through the chafe tube. And then just point this back and wrap it around about three or four times to hold the piece of wire. It's almost a little different setup with the needle eye versus a regular hook eye because the way it's going to cinch down on there. Sort of, and this chafe tube is like fiber reinforced. It's a little thicker than your uh, normal black chafe tube, but I really like this because it's super durable and lasts cool. a long time. But anyways, once I've wrapped that around three or four times, now I take my ballyhoo and I kind of line up where I want the hook to come out versus the crimp. So what are we looking at here in this curve? I think this is where it trips everybody up. It's like, where do you come out in the belly? You want to come out right here at the bend of the hook, you know, where it starts. That way you're not scrunching the belly up by bringing it too far down or making the belly push up by having it too far up cool. in the shank. So I like to tuck the crimp just underneath the bill. So I line it up and I see right here about where the bend is. And I take and I just kind of poke a little hole. I do the same thing spot. to this day. I still do that. It's just so much easier. That way you know it's coming out exactly where you want it. And then you come in behind his gill plate, feeding it through his guts, and then bring it down and poke it out right there at your hole, and then slide this in. Now, I take my copper wire and I go behind the gills And then I go through his eyes. And you can come out underneath them so that you're not puncturing the eyeball. Grabs are there to sew the gills up. Then I come up through his chin. And out the nose. And I like to go right here through that hinge part of the beak. And pull my wire up through here. And now I'm gonna wrap down the nose to the bill, locking that down. And that's what secures it and having that wire wrap behind the head helps keep from pulling loose. And now you can slide whatever chugger or skirt down you know, I slide over an islander like, over you can fish islander. that naked put a little twinkle fly Whatever i mean you, you can have and the nice thing is with this i mean you did that and we're doing it for a video you did that in less than a minute yeah and you can just have a bunch of these brined up ready to go i never I, that, that's what i like to do i've rigged them a bunch and i feel like i'm as i'm trying to get the rig baits out I feel like it all gets tangled up at the end of the day. I keep a handful extra rigged and ready to go, but I don't like to keep a lot of powder brown on my baits. I feel like it makes them brown up and shrink up on me. 
So I just do a liquid brine, throw them in the cooler, and keep a couple of extras rigged. So if we catch a fish or have a knockdown and it tears it up, you can put another one out immediately. And then, you know, whenever you get low on those, take and rig a couple more. Awesome. Guys, Angelo D. Paola, the Coastal Connection with EXP Realty. For all your real estate needs, hit me up. If you need tackle, hit Carson up over at j and I hope this video was helpful, and we'll catch you next week.